German scientists found out your diet works better, faster, if you combine it with dark chocolate. Get your chocolate out and let's lose some weight. Let's! I've got my dark chocolate out. I can't wait to gobble this stuff down. Who knew after all these, if all these years of avoiding the fat and chocolate that I can eat this and lose weight? And it must be true. Look at these headlines. There was a study. Except, of course, it's not true. Eating chocolate won't help you lose 10% more weight. Or anyway, chocolate's high in fat and calories. So why would the news media write headlines like that? Because John Bohannon suckered them into it. He's a science writer who works with students at Harvard. How did you sell chocolate as a weight loss product? Well, I, I did it the way that all uh, junk science, diet fad science gets done. Um, I did a study, a bad one. It was a real study. It was. We only used 15 people. You give some chocolate, others not, and then you just look at differences over time and, oh, here's something that's prob probably statistical noise, but some of them lost weight. You got it. If you were to repeat the experiment, you'd get something totally different. Right. So no one would publish this. Well, uh, there actually is a growing industry of fake science journals uh, that look completely legit with real titles and websites, but there's no peer review. If you don't have any peer review, you're just publishing your stuff in a vanity press. Which you did, and then the media picks yes. it up. Yes. Because of a good press release. I wrote a beautiful press release. <laughs> what, what makes a beautiful press release? Well, only a journalist would know. Uh, you know, especially a science journalist like me, we have to basically browse through these things in our email inbox every day, and I have to admit, we're lazy. And if a, if a good press release comes across our way uh, with, you know, a, a sexy um, hook up front, something that taps into the zeitgeist, in, in our case it was Easter's coming and we've got good news about chocolate. Um, it had great quotes from uh, scientists and a punchy kicker at the end. And we want to believe we can eat chocolate and lose And also it was a story that everyone wanted to hear. It's true. <laughs> Here's another scare story pushed on TV. Do you eat potato chips? You better not. These are full of chemicals that cause cancer. If you're eating these, as we showed yep. in the piece, <clears throat> in essence, you're getting the same chemical that can be found in these, acrylamide. This could cause cancer. So these do have that chemical in it. But what they detected in potato chips is just vanishingly, vanishingly, uh, it's just vanishing amounts of it. Um, right, and here's this. TV program on CBS, and they're just throwing this stuff out. This has been translated really badly for the public um, because while it is technically true that it is a substance that's been linked to cancer, that's also true of a million substances. There's just as much or more acrylonide in anything you cook at high temperatures, fried foods, coffee, also prune juice, some cornflakes. It's gotten way more attention than it deserves. So why do they do this? Well, uh, I think for good reason. Cancer is scary. It's killing people we love. So it's, you know, it's something you should care about. It's just that people lose sight of the relative risks. If, if you care that much about acrylamide, you should never cross the street. You don't blame the scientists. The scientists are just looking for fame. Well, they're also looking for the truth at some level. And we journalists are also at some level hopefully looking for the truth. It's just that it's just so out of whack when it comes to what you should eat. We, we blow up these minor results and these really fishy correlation studies into headlines, what you should eat or what you shouldn't eat. And I just think that's usually premature.